Good day everyone, um, welcome to a let's play of detention. I've been gone for a long time and I know that. I've moved to a much quieter location and I actually wanted to stop but then I saw this. I saw this thing uh, called detention. It's apparently um, a game based on Taiwanese folklore. Um, very disturbing apparently it was in a horror, sec horror section so I can expect some spooky things and I saw the style and it reminded me of a game that I actually like very much which is uh, what was the name again cat lady yeah the cat lady the style really reminds me of it I'm just going to jump in don't really care about having a Good introduction here. Let's just start. Oh, it's not voice acted. Gr oh, pay attention, this will be on the final exam. During this time period, many provincial military leaders. Okay, I didn't. Is this me? The president then started the northern expedition, securing. Alright, we fell asleep. Look, it's instructor by. By. That's a odd name. Well, maybe not in Taiwan, but Miss Jin, may I have a word with you? Okay, class, let's take a short break. Uh, the text is going way too fast. I can't keep up. Can't gather my thoughts. Miss Yin, have you seen this list before? And. My guess is, is that this is the protagonist. Um, did I fall asleep? Yes, you did. This is strange. Where is everybody? How come nobody's here? Well, that's because you're in a, you are in a horror game. A typhoon alert. There shouldn't be any typhoons this time of year. Oh yeah, what's going on here? Let's see, how do I actually move? My guess is just with the mouse. Point and click. Uh, Taiwan is one of those countries in the um, Pacific Ocean where there are a lot of typhoons. At least in summer. If I am correct about this. There's a note on the table. Now I can actually control how fast everything goes. Where did Miss Jin go? Whoever was passing this note in class was worried about Miss Jin. Miss Jin keeps calling in sick lately. That's weird. No kidding, man. I hate those other subs they sent in. A school anthem. A school anthem. It actually has a decent melody. The lyrics, however, feel like another one of those propagandas promoting patriotism. I mean, that's what you get in... Um, I don't know, was Taiwan communistic in 1960? Because this game uh, is supposed to take place in 1960. It's possible China was. Vietnam, Vietnam still is. V Vietnam? Va I don't know how to say it in English. School motto and rules. The first thing in orientation was to memorize the school motto and rules. All that be honest. Be brave. Be loyal. Be frugal stuffs. Frugal stuffs? What the hell does that mean? Uh, and making sure you know it was Principal Mr. Shen who established these foundations for us. Alright, um, I should say, I should probably note that this, uh, this was made by a Taiwanese team. And my guess is that the translation was also done by the Taiwanese. So, um, some translations can be a little bit wonky. Frugal stuffs. I have no idea what that means. I'll put it in my notebook. So here do we, we gather our clues right here. Yeah. School is abandoned. It's getting dark out. Wow, I shall head home. Yeah, let's see how that works out. Oh, I want to check everything. Is the bulletin board, the holidays are the only thing I pay attention to. Marked on the calendar are the daily and weekly quizzes, midterm exams, final exams. Reading this is giving me a headache. 
Well, you should study more. Yeah, it really looks like a communistic regime at this point. Really grim. Typhoon alert. I thought the weather was quite nice during history class. But maybe you slept a little bit longer than only that class. Seeing that Miss Jin has been missing for a couple of days. Uh, and she actually was giving our lessons just now. This is our class schedule. Did they sleep through all the afternoon classes? Possibly. Maybe even the front gate isn't this way. Well, how am I supposed to know? Locked. It's awful quiet in the classroom. Have they all gone home? Well, maybe. A piece of paper lies on the windowsill. Sketch of the old banyan tree. An old sketch of what looks like the banyan tree in the school. There seems to be a figure underneath. Looks like an officer of some kind. Alright. I'm just going to guess that none of these doors can actually be opened. Let's go the other way. Maybe through the window. Nothing new here. Let me actually put the volume a little bit down. I can't really... Oh, no, that's the video. Whoops. I can't really handle those... Um, you know when they do a jump scare? I can't really handle the sound that they make. I really hate that. This is our class schedule. Oh, already went through here. Room 203, this is my classroom. How did the sleep for so long? You tell me, should have st stayed away from those um, sleeping pills. Girls restroom, I shouldn't be going in there. I don't have to use the restroom. All right, all right let's go down. Mm -hmm. Public announcement. Due to our ongoing war with mainland China, well, it's still going on, instruct instructor Bai is asking students to rat out anyone who may be pro-communist or show signs of treachery. Alright, apparently Taiwan is not communistic in these times. And I might be a bit discriminating for suggesting. Uh, there are big rewards for informants. Hmm. I don't think China is communistic anymore. They're only doing this to stimulate patriotism in us and to praise the great president. Who was the president in those times? I don't know. Let's go in here. They say Mr. Cao sometimes sleeps in here. It's locked. I don't think anybody's in there. I wonder what kind of game this is going to be. Is there like one big monster that is going to follow you all the time or it's just a lot of folklore. I hope the latter because I I think it's a bit cheap to, to just rely on scares. I think this is the control panel for the roll-up door. Open it. And uh, let's not do it yet. Oh look at that. It's uh Hmm. Hey, look at that. There's some blood on there. Hand crank. Hello, jump shoot. This is one dirty raincoat. That must smell that musty smell is horrifying. I will never wear this. Yeah, I won't it either. Diamond Sutra. Why will someone put this on the wall? I'm not familiar with Buddhist teaching. Hmm. And what is this? A kerosene heater. We used it last winter, huddling around it and having a good time. Very interesting. 
Mm. Some flowers. A pot for growing daffodils. Daffodils? Only one of them still hanging out in there. There's something in the dirt. Yeah, sure, dig it out. An old photograph. Why doesn't it even give me that option? I mean, you probably need to do this to progress, anyway. Can't tell who's in the picture, there's a quote written on it. The roots below the earth claim no reward for making the branches fruitful. Alright, I mean they claim water, isn't that like their reward? Um. Sure. Don't know what's been planted, but they've all died out. How do you not know you... You're... This is your school, right? You should know. Bad student. The principal's office is also locked. Alright. Uh, only one thing to do then. Open this freaking uh, door. I think this is the control panel for the roll-up door. Open it. Sure, man. It's a mechanical winch. There are instructions on the cover. I think I need a hand crank. Track item from inventory to interact with objects. So this is going to take a while. Oh, never mind. I skipped. Going to train those muscles, man. Thank heaven this works. Almost got trapped here. This looks nicer. I don't like abandoned buildings. They always look so... Abandoned. Which makes sense. Oh yeah, this must be like... Um, the, auditor the auditorium is at a lower attitude compared to, other the, to the other buildings at school. Through the auditorium is the front gate and the route down the mountain. Um, I think Taiwan has the roof made of metal or something. Aluminium. The shortest route back home is through the auditorium. Yes. We go through there. Oh look, there's... Um, someone. And a painting. Which probably is the president. Or the principal, one of the two. Chair is uh, shaking. Or is that just the... Uh, the video that is a little bit shaky. Yeah, it's probably the video. She is sleeping. It looks like. Well. Then... Um, my guess is that we are supposed to wake her up. A full length mirror. Makes me want to double check if my shirt's tucked in. Blah. Shirt's tucked in. Yeah. Exit to side entrance is on the other side. It will soon be night. We should get going. Yeah. Man, your school... I don't want to be rude or something, but your school needs some funding. It's so empty. Who is this girl? Is she sleeping? Hello? She's not responding. Maybe I should get on the stage. Alright. Wait, is there something on the other side? Oh, look, a coat. Some odds and ends and an old military jacket. Nothing special here. So this is Omnius. Hello, miss. Hello. Wake up, you shouldn't be here. In. Where am I? The auditorium. You are sleeping on the stage. That's me. Huh? School is cancelled because a typhoon is coming. Typhoon? I just came from my classroom. You're the first person I've come across. Weird, how did I? We should get going. It's getting dark in here. 
The rain is starting to pour. Wait, my necklace is gone. What? Have you seen my necklace? Oh, great. I don't think so, it's a fetching quest. How? I must have lost it somewhere. I'm not leaving without it. Do, 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 do. Are we going to look it together? What are we looking for? A deer shaped jade pen and tried tied to a black cord. Let's split up and search for it then. Thanks, that means a lot. Ugh. All those fetching quests. Yeah, I don't know why you will fall asleep here. Um Did I miss something? Maybe one of these planks has something hidden in them. She's going down. Kill that girl seems anxious about losing a necklace. The air is hermit to leave. Oh. I don't think it's a good idea to leave her here. Maybe I should help. Let's go in here. Look at that question mark. Oh look, the necklace is there. Uh, between a fan. I have uh, There's a dim sound coming from the end of the fan shaft. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this, but let's do it anyway. Something's in there, but I can't reach it. Let's grab something then. This umbrella, for instance. There's an umbrella is... There is an umbrella in the bucket. Broken umbrella. Oh, that sucks. I want a working umbrella. Flagpoles and class signs. This stuff is used during our school assemblies. Wow. Interesting. I already forgot about it. Do do do. Wait, wait, yes, like this. Let's reach for it. Yay. Hmm. Nothing happened yet. Let's get back. Are you still alive? Where are you? Found you. Why are you sleeping in other auditorium. I don't know, I'm still feeling a little dizzy. Let's find the necklace and go. I already have it. I already have it. Look, here. Is this the necklace? You found it, yay. That's awesome, thank you. There we go. Well, I found it in the storage room next to the stage. It seems like someone threw it into a vent in there. What? Why will it be in such a place? Well, it's suddenly strange. It's almost like this is a strange predicament that we are in. Well, forget it. You found it anyways. Let's get going before the rain gets heavy. Sure. We don't want heavy rain. You're a slow walker. You've got a weird lag. Is that just a shade? This weird? No. Way. This way. Oh look, it's a tree that's uh, the spooky tree. Wow, it's raining pretty hard. What was it again? A uh, sketch of an old banyan tree. Yeah, that's it. There seems to be a figure underneath. Well, is that figure going to appear once we go past the tree? No. An aged banyan tree has probably been here long before people settled on the m on this mountain. Huh. Nothing is going to... Where those leaves there? Yeah, probably. I need to pay more attention, man. Start to seeing things uh, that are not there. This rock's been sitting here for quite some time now. 
People say it fell from a small temple of the mountain. Wow. Yeah, same thing. How oh, sits in this? It's the security office by the main gate. I guess even the guards left for home. Here is the campus exit. Something written on there, I can't read it because I don't speak Mandarin. It's the security's office by the main gate. I guess even the guard left for home. Nothing interesting. Something ominous about this area, according to the music. What? The bridge collapsed. No freaking way! Wait a minute. That water is not supposed to be red. Who threw the Pepto Bismol in there? Oh wait, it's pink, isn't it? Um, who threw there? Um, um, strawberry jam in there. Nailed it. Oh god. Whoa, why is the river red? Well, that's a good question. This looks like. It kind of looks like blood. Well, I mean, a lot of things look like blood, don't they? Blood? Don't say that. Maybe you walked into Willy Wonka's uh, factory. You, you, you know? It could still be jam. Don't say that. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. I don't get why this guy doesn't have a sprite. The girl has? Does it indicate that the guy is going to die soon or something? What happened? Okay, let's calm down and think about it. There's got to be a reasonable explanation. Hmm. Why is it red? Even muddy water shouldn't be this color. Maybe if it's in a red mud? Ah! I think I know the cause of this. There are a few factories located upstream. It's probably them dumping chemical waste into the river under cover of the typhoon. So much? That looks a little bit... Exaggerated. Are you sure? I Means somebody is going to notice this. It looks pretty concentrated. I've heard people talking about it. Perhaps you're right. The worst part of this, we don't have a way to go downhill now with the bridge gone. You know what? If it really are chemicals, that should actually be worse than if it was blood. Right? Blood is not as harmful. I mean, if it was harmful, why are we full of it? Tons of people across the across this bridge every day. This bridge should have been better maintained. Well, well, blood. You shouldn't probably drink it though. Fishes probably can't live in it too. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Scarf water said. Blood is bad. Guess we have to head back to school. It won't do us any good standing here in the middle of the rain. I don't know. I don't like schools that are abandoned. Don't you know what always happened in them? True. Don't worry, it's just a typhoon. The school has enough supplies for us to get through the storm. Alright. I guess I can trust you. You seem like a reliable person. I don't know if I'm a reliable person. I just grabbed the umbrella and... You know what? Let's wrong with it. Just trying to be optimistic. Let's get going then. Is that tree now going to play a significant role or something? No, apparently not. Thought, oh, we are going to walk back. All wet and tired, what a day. Just rest up for now, we may have to spend the night here. Oh wait, I haven't officially thanked you for finding my necklace for me. I'm Fang Rei Shin, a senior from Miss Yin's class. You can call me Ray. How about you? What grade are you in? So you're my senior. Miss Fang, I'm Wei Shun Ting. You don't have to be formal with me. It's a bit awkward. Just Ray is fine. Normally we don't go to the senior building. I heard that it's a very competitive environment where everyone works their butt off for studying. It's not that awful. Some of us still do what we want. I do envy you for graduating soon. You won't have to see Guo Fong on a daily basis anymore. Who is Guo Fong? Is that the principal? Probably. Instructor Bai? I don't even dare call him by his whole name. 
Grimace says he was a relentless killer during the war. I wouldn't dare to I wouldn't dare do that in front of him either. We are all pretty terrified of him. Well those you know those Asians probably had a very hard in those times. With all those officials and fascism and communism. Yeah. We probably wouldn't want to be in the lowest class in this in those periods. But we avoid him any possible way we can. Ahem. Hey you, come here. Why are you hiding from me? Are you aff affiliated with the commies? Whoa, that was a perfect imitation. Giving me goosebumps. Anyways, just hang on tight, buddy. It will be your turn to graduate next year. Life's a struggle. Hey, I know what we can do. Let me go use that phone in the principal office, see if I can contact anybody. Then I will grab that heater in the storage room and a couple blankets from health center. That should be enough for us to get through the night. That's a well thought out plan. Do you need any help? I'll be fine on my own. You should rest up here, missus. The man's got it under control. Well, that's pretty sexist. Hold on there now. Don't take me as one of those spoiled pampered girls. I'm probably more capable than most of you boys. Sorry, that came out the wrong way. It's okay, you don't have to apologize. I know you were just trying to help. Wow, what a nerd. Okay, how about this? I'll go make the phone call, then we can find what we need together and carry them back. Well, alright, that sounds good. I'll wait for you right here. Just hurry back, it's getting real dark in here. Almost all that talking. What do we need to get anyway? I, I said all the things, but I didn't follow them. Ugh. Oh. But well, this is different. Um. All right. Well, this seems like a good point to. Um, Safe. Thank you for watching, and I will continue this tomorrow. Wait, any unsafe progress will be lost, are you sure? How do I save? Hello? Do, do, does it say anywhere where I can save for. I mean, I kind of want to save. All right, let's let's find something a spot that determines when I can save, where I can save, if I can save, if I can actually go to something. To the left, to the left. Mm -hmm. Nothing here. Darkness. This hallway has become significantly larger. Save point. His footsteps echoed softly, invoking a trace of suspense in me. Alright. Reality faded away as time stood still. I swallowed hard as the emptiness confined me. <clears throat> Alright. Does this mean that my game is saved? I hope so. Sa save? Hmm. Look, there's a little bit, uh, a couple of cuts on his nose. Ah! And on his lips. What happened? It looks like he's not breathing at all. Is he dead? But how? He was fine just a moment ago. You know, this explains why he doesn't have a character sprite when talking. He died way too soon. Oh my god, I just met you. Tell me this is only a bad dream. Okay, wait, take a deep breath. There's a notebook on the stage. It's a wise journal. Great. Saw him looking through it earlier. 
perhaps there were clues to what happened. A fortune telling poem from the temple turned the wheel with the loss of the universe to reveal the path ahead. I just got the safe. Thank God! I was afraid that there was actually not a, a, an easy way to save. Turn the wheel with the loss of the universe to reveal the path ahead. No, oh, nothing else apparently. Hmm. Well, since it's saved, it seems like a good um, time to break this playthrough off. At least this episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, I will continue probably tomorrow. Thank you. Um, well, goodbye.